Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a, like, can you describe, like, you know, what this deja, deja vu is like? You know what I'm saying? You know, the little key hints of, like, you know, can probably, I could probably, like, be able to answer and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm going to start this one off by basically just saying it felt like it, it came from a dream. Yeah, it felt like it came from a dream, but it happened in reality. We were, were doing more than smoking, too. We was out there um, selling shoes. Well, I was out there selling uh, selling one, one of my guy's shoes, and um, he took a look at, at two pairs of shoes in particular. He had one and he had one pair in one hand and one pair in the other hand, and he was just talking like he was talking like um, you know, you know, dang, these are fresh as hell. These ones is too, but these ones too tight. But it was the way the, the way the way he said it kind of made me laugh a little bit. And when he when he did that, it was like from that point on, that from that point on, up to me coming home and falling asleep. That I, I remember all of that from before. I was telling my other friend about it too while it was happening. Like, um, like uh, I walked over to him and I told him what was going on. He said he he told me that he's experienced deja vu's too, like uh, long moments of of deja vu, and he said it 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 it, it goes away, you know, so. I was just like, you know, that was a little bit of of of, of clarity because I, I was wondering in the back of my mind, like, is this going to go away or am I going to continue to keep freaking out like this? Like, what's going on, you know? And I've noticed the past few times this week that I have smoked some something, something left, something all the way left field has happened. Like, is it, it's crazy, man. But yeah, uh, long story short, it was from that moment to where to where he was talking about the shoes, up until I had I had left, and then um, I was about to go over to my friend's house. It was around ten o'clock, but my phone was dead, so so you know I couldn't call them. I was, yeah, I was gonna go go over go over my, my my you know my other homie's house, but um. My phone was dead, and when I pulled up over there, it was like something was telling me, like, you know, something was telling me, like, be careful, you know, park, like, don't, don't, don't park over here, park in the front, you know. So I did that, and before I got out the car, I just had a feeling like, don't, don't step outside, you know. And I drove, and after that, I just said, you know what, my phone's dead anyway. I'm gonna just go home. We, I'll, I'll see them tomorrow. So as I'm going home, I'm paying attention to the music that I'm hearing on, on the radio. And it's wild. It's like, um, because uh, um, I don't really, I don't want to say too much about, about, about this one right here. But um, I'm kind of getting probably into something, probably a little bit ro romantically, I guess. And um, I'm hearing these vivid love songs that are playing on the radio. And then, um, and then, hold on, I'm, I'm going to just make another one. So, yeah, uh, I call myself getting, in, like, not exactly, I wouldn't call it getting into anything yet, but there's an, there's an interest. There's an interest right now, and it's, and it's mutual, I, I'm, I'm guessing, you know, or at least I feel, I feel that it is. But um, I'm hearing these vivid love songs playing playing on the radio. They kind of match the that situation that I'm in, you know. And then uh, I then I'm 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 hungry too, so I say, you know what, I'm a, I'm gonna stop to get something to eat too. And the only thing that was open was like Burger King, but I know I know they got like veggie burgers and shit, so I stopped at Burger King. And um. What and the music still playing while I'm on the way over there. Then I start hearing songs about money and fame and um and let me let me tell you this, but kind of keep it on the low. I'm supposed to be doing shows and stuff soon. I'm supposed to be doing um probably like probably big shows, you know. 
but uh, I don't want to get too too in, in in depth on that either. But I've been knowing about this for a minute, and I've been, you know, doing what doing what I've been having to do in order to make sure that I I I get to I get to do these shows. <clears throat> so um, yeah. So and and it's like it. It doesn't matter what radio state like I was turning I was going from radio station to radio station and I kept hearing music that I that I I, I resonated with. Not even music that I will play on, on, on the regular, but music that fits like situations that are going on in my life. And then gee, when I pulled up in into Burger King, when I pulled up by the um by the little by, by the speaker, yeah, when I pulled up by the speaker, as soon as I got close to that speaker, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, street light went out on, on top, like, kind of, you know, you know, like, when you pull up to a drive through at night, and, um, and they have, like, a little street light kind of close to that area, yeah, as soon as I pulled up by the speaker, the whole street light turned off, and it's, it's, it's night, you know, so that that joint ain't supposed to turn off. You know, and I I took that as like, bro, what is going on? You know, that's kind of that's kind of weird. Something is, you know, something is going on. You know, and damn, you know. All right, and this is just gonna be the one to finish it off. So uh, I'm just I'm just on on the way home now, right? I'm still tuning into the radio. To see if I can catch more of these songs that I feel like um um that feel like they resonate with with what I got going on, you know I can't I can't find these. I don't know some of these artists who that were on these songs, but I've never heard these songs before. A few of them I've never heard before, and they were they were kind of old old timey type songs too. Not too old, but they were old. They were old enough. To where I couldn't, I don't know who who sang them, but that that was another thing. Like, damn, you know, it was it was weird. So yeah, um, when I pull up to the house, I turn my keys up. You know, I take my keys out the car and stuff like that, and I'm finishing whatever else left, whatever is left of my food, and um, and I'm I'm thinking I'm I'm about to I'm about to get out the car right. Tell me why I fell asleep, and I don't remember falling asleep. I was awake before I fell asleep, and then when I woke up, that was it. It was like um, when I woke up, there was no more of that, no more of that um, of that feeling. It was over with. Yeah, let me add one more thing. One more thing I forgot to mention. Um. Pulling into Burger King, I changed the radio station up one more time just just to see like if if this is real, you know. I change it mm -hmm. and then I'm, I I hear the I catch the ending of of this song that's on the other station, and I don't know who who was on it, but they they said to end the song off, money and fame isn't everything. They either said that or they said money and fame will do something to you or something like that and then after that the beat gets like real vague and mysterious and then it changes songs yeah man i tell you dude man dude like you know you mentioned uh you know you would listen to the radio and you had all these you know instrumentals playing for like you know songs that you can make that can resonate that resonate with you know your deja vu's and stuff like that i'm pretty sure it's gonna come all clear like during the time when like when you do decide to like you know go in depth with the deja vu and stuff like that when you have all the instrumentals that plays out you know that mellows everything in you know what i'm saying and yeah man like this deja vu that you have, man, is definitely the new the these universes telling you something that you know you are awakened. Like you're you're 
you are destined for more, man. Like, you know, you're just like you're just meant for more. And that's the reason why you had this deja vu's and stuff like that. You know, everything you seen was on point, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it took me a while to get it, you know what I'm saying? But like as soon as you explain in depth, like I I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying though, man. For real. Yeah, man, and it's so weird. That's that's why I was talk, talking, trying to talk to you about uh, the other day. I was, well, you all. I was talking to you all the other day about this energy, this um, unfamiliar energy, or this un, these unfamiliar experiences that I've been having. And um, yeah, man, I didn't mean to come. I didn't mean to call them call it scary though. It's just unfamiliar, and you know. Things that are unfamiliar will tend to make you be like, you know, what the fuck, you know? And yeah, man, like for you to um make songs that's gonna like, you know, resonate with you. And, you know, these are gonna be performed at, you know, shows one day. You know, the cosmos is just giving you that signal that, you know, it's time for your awakening because like, you know, you're about to unleash, you know, the deity that you are. So you being a deity, you know what I'm saying, you know, and you're going to be like, you know, the ancestors of the cosmos, you know what I'm saying? Because right now you are a current living ancestor, you know what I'm saying? Because you're you having all these awakenings like constantly each day, each night. So like everything is everything is starting to make sense to you now more, more and more, you know what I'm saying? And you might come up with you might be able to come up with some type of special transformation that people may have never seen before. And if I could add one more smidget, <laughs> I tested it out when I was waiting for my food too, because I still hear heard songs that I was resonating with. So I said, "All right, bet. Let me just change. Let me change to a station to where I know I'm not gonna find anything like this." Like the like, let me change it to a station to where I know I'm not gonna find anything. And mm. when I did that, my car started started making a noise. As soon as I changed changed that radio, my my car started making a noise like so. So I so so I stopped. I I went back back to to the radio stations that that I was tuning into, and it stopped making that noise. So I'm like, all right, bet something going on, yo, because. A light on my car started flashing too, when 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 I I when I went away from those stations, and as soon as I went, and yeah, man, the thing about the unfamiliar things, like you know, a lot of things can be appear to be unfamiliar to us at first, until we like have some reassurance of like you know from our downloads, like from our dreams, astral projection, or anything you call it, deja vu or whatever. Like if it's like deja vu and it's like and it's actually happening in front of you and this happened in your dream. It's like it doesn't even really scare you no more, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, man. It's like a lot of things just become more intriguing and you're you're just gonna like, you know, get down to the bottom of everything each time you have so something like strangely familiar happen and it's just like making your mind heart and soul expand.